caught red-handed. A man's surveillance video shows carpet cleaners looking for valuables in his house. Nine on Your Side did some digging and found they are suspected of doing this in more than 10 other tri-state communities. Jordan Burgess is live with what you need to watch out for so you don't get ripped off. Jordan. Well, how's this for brazen? One woman says that they swiped her safe in a rolled up carpet. She later found it back here by a neighbor's air conditioning unit. It had been broken open. And police now suspect that family carpet cleaning has been pulling off thefts like these for years. Watch as the carpet cleaner in the red shirt ducks into this side office. You see him going through the drawers of the homeowner. Days later, they notice $1,500 in cash gone. All this money that his son's been saving for a present is disappeared. The video came as no shock to one of the other suspected victims of the business known as family carpet cleaning. They're scumbags. The woman, who didn't want to be identified, says she hired the father and son team to install carpet, but they wouldn't finish the job. Days later, she noticed $200 in cash missing along with her safe. It's a small family owned business, and you try to give people like that the benefit of the doubt, and it's hard for companies like that to make, you know, make a living when. People like this do this. We called a number for the cleaners, but it no longer worked. Police in Miami Township say they've heard from law enforcement in more than 10 other tri state communities about complaints of theft involving the same cleaners over a period of years, and they think there's likely many more. There's a lot of unsuspecting victims that don't realize that they've been victimized. The cleaner who you see going through the drawers, Forrest Smith, was arrested a few weeks ago and is in the Kenton County Jail. But his father, Richard Lance Smith, seen here, is still on the loose and still posting ads offering services on Craigslist. Victims say this is a tough lesson on researching who you hire. I was mistaken and I didn't do it and I learned. And you may wonder why people didn't keep a better eye on the two when they were in their homes. Well, one woman says she tried, but one would go upstairs and call her, while the other would then go through her stuff. Something to be aware of when you let workers inside your home. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 9 on your side.